Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. This is a follow-up video from the video I did the other day where I showed you how I dry flowers and how I seal flowers ready to put in resin. Today's video is going to show you how I will use those same flowers to cast in a coaster and I'll be using the method that I always use to avoid bubbles in my resin because I don't have a pressure pot. Now if you want a refresher on how I dried flowers and how easy it is, please just click the video link above. So without too much further ado, let's get on with the project. So for the paperweight or the coaster, I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be using a couple of leaves off these leaves that I dried. And pop them in. And then I'm probably going to pop around it some um, other little dried flowers that I've got as well. And these are fabulous. And I don't know where they came from because they were given to me at Christmas as a gift because they're brilliant because they mix lovely. They're great for using in as I'm using them now, but also, um, the resin just peels straight off them. So if anyone knows where these come from, please let me know in the comments below, because they are absolutely brilliant. So as you can see, there's no real bubbles in that now. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pop my flower that I want to use, this one, in the middle. And don't forget, the bottom is your top when it's done. So put it face down. All right. So if we put it face down, then what will happen is you will get a pretty, pretty, pretty picture at the end rather than looking at the back of it. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread a little bit of resin over this flower to lock in anywhere there and hopefully avoid any bubbles. Now, there is no doubt some trapped underneath it somewhere. I, I always seem to get them and I don't have a pressure pot yet. I will be getting one. Well, I keep saying, I've been saying that for years because if I put it in a pressure pot, then what would happen is you wouldn't see any of the bubbles anyway. Now, I want that to be on the foreground, that one. So I'm not putting anything else into this until I've put another layer of resin on that and you'll see that next because I want it to have kind of a 3D look of um, perspective. This flower coaster is now ready to have its uh, last coat of resin. So I've just mixed the resin up and literally all I'm going to do is pour it in here so it's at the depth that I want it. Now if we don't want to use this as a coaster we can use it as a paperweight and I would recommend if you're going to use it as a paperweight then I would just fill it up a little bit more than you would do for a coaster. But that's entirely up to you really if if that's what you want to do i will be using this as a paperweight i'm going to take it into work uh, and use it as a paperweight so just fill it up to the edge or however deep that you want it and let the bubbles come up to the top and just get rid of the bubbles when they're at the top so there we go, that's now finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of its mould. And there we are. That's it finished. I think that has come out really well. I think that would make a lovely paperweight for someone. If you don't want to make them into paperweights and you want them to be coasters, then don't cast them quite as thick. And um, you've got a beautiful coaster. So I'm really pleased with that. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much indeed. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.